what are your thoughts on Stronghold Digital Mining Inc? My son and I are using it to hedge our clean spark. So this is an example of how I always say the family that invests together sticks together. So good job uh, for you and your son. However, I do have a little bit of grief tidings. Um, I don't know why you use this asset to hedge clean spark. And let me explain why in some numbers. Now, what I do when I analyze stocks, I analyze them against their peer group, just like crypto. I analyze them against their peer group. I don't compare, for example, payment blockchains to layer ones, for example. But here, let's talk about some of the things that I see as potential red flags. One, no institutional investment. Yes, they are a small company, but that's also quite scary. Institutions only make up 13.5%. When you compare this to some of the other big miners, it's more like 70, 80%. So that is a scary low number. That means the institutions don't trust it. The institutions do a lot of due diligence, way more than the retail investor, other than maybe yours. <laughs> anyway, but uh, they also have a large amount of debt, which is kind of scary. For miners to have this much of a debt concentration, is quite terrifying. You can see here as well, cash and short-term investments, 13 million. Receivables, 10.9 million. Will they ever come through? I don't know. Long-term assets, they may not be liquid, 18 million. Physical assets, they may be written down, especially considering the way we're going towards the next halving. So this is kind of scary as well. I do not like miners with a lot of debt. In addition, the I haven't seen a number like this in a very long time, but they lose. 84 cents on the dollar. So if you imagine they make 106 in revenue, they lose $19 million, which is terrifying. And that chart looks like it's getting worse. Revenues are flattening off and losses are increasing. That's very scary. In addition, some additional things that I saw, they have less than one year of cash runway, which means they could be out of business unless they turn things around fast. Share price is very volatile. Um, the shareholders have been substantially diluted in the past year, but that is kind of common. I didn't calculate the exact dilution. There was just too many red flags to even dig any deeper, so I left it. They are unprofitable and not forecast to be profitable over the next three years. The CEO is only salary, no stock compensation. I want to take a second on that one. If you're just getting cash and you're only in the job just over a year, you're milking it as a job. If you are vested in a company, stock has to be a big part of your conversation because you want to do as good as the other people. If you look at all the other leaders of top miners, they have a much higher or much bigger uh, part of their conversation is in stock. So they have what's called skin in the game. This guy has no skin in the game. So that would make me nervous too. High debt and limited transparency. So if you go to their website, I went to their website first. It's like looking at stuff. I want to see what the hash rate is today. I want to see how many Bitcoin they mined over the last month how much they're holding, all that. There's nothing. I couldn't find any information. That is scary too. Again, just like crypto, just like equities, if there's no transparency, it's a red flag. It means they could be hiding a bull. Not saying they are, but therefore, uh, in summary, it's in its early stages, has yet to really generate significant revenue. Um, SDIG faces competition for larger, more established companies. I call it kind of the uh, what do you call it? The uh, murderer's row of miners. It is a brutal business, ruthless business. I always said that from day one. Also, it's not clear whether their carbon neutral mining facility will be sustainable or an advantage in the long run. And the stock has been in a downward trend since it went public in February 2002. Just really, it was such a scary chart. I didn't even share it. So with that, be very, very careful with, and it doesn't mean this analysis just looks at financials, etc. It doesn't mean it couldn't pop just like a crypto or it couldn't be acquired. Um, but right now, I think there's better, cleaner shirts in the laundry than this one.